Hello, YouTube. So I saw this popping up on my feed and I wanted to react um, to it live. Uh, the title reads, Korean devs keep winning. First descendant Freyna ESG define sexy skin goes viral. I don't know what this is about, so let's let's watch it. The first it. descendant has been extremely popular ever since it True. released, and a big appeal True. was the fan server. Best game, by the way. My new favorite game of 2024 so far. It's the fact that these developers were not afraid to show us some attractive female characters in a video game again. Finally! And while fans are cheering as the first Ascendant yeah. has revealed the new Ultimate Freyna skin, the Concord critics have been proven right that people don't want designs made for modern audiences. It says Ultimate Freyna skin is set to release on October 10th, so it which just we currently, had, Which we currently have, by the way. So log in now. The first Ascendant Freyna not hashtag not sponsored it's a pretty chill game it's a pretty good game um you can go at your pace i really like that there isn't an uh, uh an immediate fomo of logging into the game it truly is a great game where you can log in grind to your heart's content log off chill out come back to the game maybe a two to three days later or maybe a month later and still have progress that you can continue the game it is very relaxing to play this game and it looks gorgeous man it has really good looking um characters in this game it's going over very well it says the reveal trailer had caused quite a stir within the first ascendant community the update for nexon's mmo looter shooter will bring yeah. a new slew of content including new weapon and new modules but the two rather provocative skins yeah. are what surprised everyone and sent fans into a frenzy honestly i wasn't really shocked just because there are so many sexy costumes within the game already like that is true we is already a have a lot marketing you know focus for them and they understand that sexy sells and that's not a negative thing i have to say this all the time but developers need to understand that at the end of the day yeah. we just want good content we want attractive female yep. characters very feminine female characters masculine hunky male characters it is not a bad thing to try i am still waiting for that blair outfit with just an apron I want the butt cheeks exposed, the back muscles, an apron with just a shift hat and an apron. We got to make it happen, Nexon. Give us a backless apron for Blair Ultimate Blair. That will be so nice. Try to get people interested in your product by marketing it through things like sex appeal. I want to look at beautiful characters, yep. and that is not a problem. So I wasn't shocked that these provocative skins were added into the game, but it did send fans into a frenzy. It says the free-to-play MMO from Korean developer Nexon launched in early July and has since built a strong player yeah. base, mostly thanks to its aggressive push towards eye-catching provocative aesthetics. And yes, I do think think that that certainly helped my problem with the first descendant is the way that it's monetized because i have played quite a lot of it uh -huh. and i have a genuinely great time but unfortunately it is a nexon game and nexon is a company that monetizes their products pretty poorly they have uh, you know, FOMO in the shop, so they'll yeah. rotate skin, so you feel like you have to swipe your credit card so you don't miss out. They, they do, they do have FOMO skins, and yeah, I, I'm never a huge fan of of having skins for a limited time. I don't like that they have like a 70 day. If you don't buy within the 70 days, it's gone, and they don't have like um, oh, this is going to be back later on type of thing. They don't have a way to grind those skins. I I do agree with that. Like I don't like FOMO, um, anything that drives that sort of FOMO. I myself have been guilty of purchasing and buying into this FOMO. I wish they didn't do that. But the whole other like monetization though, um how she's bringing up that the game is Nexon and blah 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 blah. This is actually one of their. Ch pretty fair for nexon standards this game is pretty fair for its monetization where you can grind everything in the game minus those cosmetics that we just talked about in the game for free like the gameplay in the game is free the descendants you can grind the guns you can grind you can even buy guns at all like the core elements of the game which is like the gameplay the gunplay that's free 
they're not monetizing that at all. Now, before somebody says, oh my God, but the descendant slots, you need extra. They just added with this last patch, the ability to buy more descendant slots as well for a free to play enjoyer. And they'll continue to build on this. But at the same time, you can delete some of the older descendants that are the basic models to just upgrade to the ultimate so you can free up slots as a free to play enjoyer. So, I mean, that's the only like thing that people can like fall back on, which it, again is still being offered to you in the game for free have crafting materials in the shop you yeah. can just buy the ultimate versions of these characters but you can also grind them and i really doubt that anybody's going to spend more than a week grinding an ultimate descendant like you really have to put 30 minutes into a game a week to not get it in a week like they're fairly easy grind with some of the highest percentages going to 32 percent um some of them being as low as six percent with using stabilizers that brings them up to like 10 percent you can really have an easier time the game is not very punishing when it comes to grinding these cosmic these ultimate descendants instead of having to put a lot of time into the game and i like options i don't necessarily mind you being able to purchase individual characters as long as you can earn them within yeah. the game but they do take it to another level and that's the only real problem i have with this game is it's genuinely fun i love the character designs i love the atmosphere and the aesthetics uh -huh. it runs extremely well it's just monetized pretty poorly, which isn't shocking. You know, right now, Korean developers are seeing a massive boom because boom. so many Western gamers are moving away from Western entertainment. We've gone to Japanese entertainment, yeah, yeah, supporting yeah. Japanese devs. I mean, because but they, they develop beautiful characters. Nobody beats Korean developers when it comes to cosmetics and just fucking beautiful characters. They are just winning. Korean developers are just making beautiful games. Um, I don't know. I, I don't necessarily agree with her take on the whole like monetization. I think she's like hammering really hard when in comparison to all the other monetized games out there, this game doesn't do anything crazy and radical compared to all the other ones. It's not like they're trying to sell you a kidney or anything like that for like an arm or a leg. It, it is on par with what is already out there, which I'm not saying it's okay, but it, I think it's like a, a little exaggerating that, oh my God, Nexon is doing these bad practices. I don't, like I've been playing a lot of live service games, a lot of these free ones, and they really sell you things just as much. I guess the problem here is that there isn't a way to earn some of the currency by trading with another player. So you have to swipe in order to get some of these cosmetics. While in other games, they offer a tangible solution by allowing you to trade with other players, uh, which I don't really mind that this game doesn't have trading because it does eliminate all the bot f um, farms that could potentially happen in this game. There is no botting. There is no RMT in this game because there is no trading. So it's a sacrifice that I'm willing to take um, if it doesn't get infested by bots and stuff. I don't know. That's just my take. You might not agree with it, but I kind of like it. Um, but, you know, maybe in the future they change that and they do add trading, but... Yeah, I still think that the whole like conversation about monetization is like super exaggerated with the first descendant. I don't think that is doing anything outrageously crazy that other game developers aren't aren't already doing. The Korean devs have also seen a massive boom, which I think is great. I love seeing games made by all different sorts of people with their own unique aesthetics, and The First Descendant has done extremely well, and a big part of it is because of the sex appeal. It yeah. is fantastic to see feminine, sexy character designs. That is not a negative thing, and it is basically just developers printing money because we can see that they were not afraid to oh, just for go sure. for the design. I like wanted. that. They and don't change. Magnum Studios slash Nexon do not change. Keep giving us these sexy outfits. 
not holding themselves back. They didn't Please. censor these outfits in any way, shape, or form. And it's similar Never to Stellar change. Blade, where we were really hyped for Stellar Blade. We were defending it, and then at the last second, we did find out that there were elements that were censored, and we'll never really know if it was just because of Sony, if, you know, Shift Up decided to go in this different direction. We'll never know the whole I love truth it, because they have I not been transparent. It. But in this case, it's fantastic to see a game not be censored in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, isn't that crazy? That's actually true. A good point. I have not heard or seen or that Nexon is nerfing or censoring their outfits at all. They, like, there is no conversation of censoring. They don't give a fuck. They're unapologetically giving us sexy skins and they don't care. I love that. We don't need to be censored. Genuinely fun and has just awesome looking visuals. This is what happens when you just create a product for yeah. an audience and that audience actually exists because we look at games on the flip side like Concord and they are epic failures. And yeah, character designs are not the only thing that matters in a title, but it is extremely important the way that you can yeah. market your game and what you are offering to people. And now the Concord critics have been proven right. We have been proven correct that the modern audience, which doesn't really exist, aka the sensitive snowflakes on social media, they don't show up to buy games and the majority Right. of gamers do not want to look at ugly boulders of characters let we them know to queen see something pretty aesthetically pleasing we want fun gameplay and that is the complete opposite of what we got with experiences like concord so i am happy to see the first ascendant doing extremely well i am glad to see so many people talking about this game and still playing it and still enjoying it and of course some of the numbers have dropped don't get me wrong people come people go that's kind of expected but it had a gigantic peak player count initially this freyna ultimate version uh, character has of course brought players back in and while it i definitely personally got me back have a ultimate bunny i am going to be keeping my eye on this because i really did love freyna and i think i'm gonna jump back in game to uh obtain her and have a little bit of fun playing her but yeah, yeah i mean fans are cheering as the first descendant has continued down this massive win streak revealing the ultimate freyna skins showing they're not afraid to sell sexy and they're proving the sell me critics right again but that's all that i had to discuss in this video let everyone know your thoughts in the comments below if you enjoyed this give it a like and if you didn't give it a dislike i appreciate your support either way but i'll talk to you all again in the next video really soon i will be linking this video too in the comments down below um it's a pretty good video if you guys want to watch it here's the link also it will be in the description down below so what do you guys think are you guys still enjoying the first descendant are you um willing to try it it's a really fun game i really really advise it to play it uh okay and scene hey you yeah you how about you stop circling around youtube and hit that comment like and subscribe yeah you find yourself a nice little waifu now do me a favor, hit that follow button.